What's up guys, welcome back to the course. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to prompt engineering. For those of you who are already familiar with prompt engineering, feel free to skip this video. However, if you're not really familiar with prompt engineering, especially those of you who are new to this game, make sure you stay in this video and pay very close attention to things that I'm about to explain in this video. So let's begin with the first question here. What is prompt engineering? Well, it is basically the process of designing and refining prompts or instructions given to a language model. So let me give you an example here. So as you guys can see, right now we are on ChatGPT. So this is basically AI chatbot where you can ask any questions and ChatGPT is going to answer your questions with human-like answer. All right. so let's say you are a content creator, right? So let's say you are a YouTuber, you want to create a video about fictional history, but you're stuck. Um, you don't have any idea in your head. So you want to utilize ChatGPT to generate the content script for your YouTube videos, right? So let's um, type the prompt. Generate me content script for my YouTube videos about fictional history. Right, so I hit enter and see what ChatGPT is going to generate us. Right, we'll see. Okay, cool, title. Unveiling the enigmatic tapestry, exploring the fascinating world of fictional history. All right, so as you guys can see, ChatGPT is generating the content script for us. Um, the introductions, the first segment, second segment here. Pretty cool, right? Um, the third segment, all right, keep going. The fourth segment, I don't know how long it's going to be. Maybe it's going to be a pretty long content script, I guess. Whoa, the fifth segment. And finally, the, the conclusion, right? And also, um, what else? Oh, that's it. The conclusion, all right. So yeah, as you guys can see, um, this is the output generated by ChatGPT. And to generate this output, um, we use this prompt, right? So if you might be wondering like what prompt engineering is, so it's basically a process to create or to design these instructions, right? So to generate this output, we need to write this prompt. So prompt engineering means the process to engineer, to process to design this type of problem, make it as good as possible, make it as effective as possible. So ChatGPT is going to be able to understand what we want. It's going to be able to understand our instructions. And obviously the end goal here, ChatGPT is able to generate the output that we expect, right? So yeah, uh, so that's the definitions of uh, prompt engineering. Let's go back to our slide and Let's talk about the objective here, right? So let me do the slideshow. The aim is to guide the model's output in the desired directions by providing clear and explicit instructions, right? So if we use this as our case study, obviously uh, the end goal here, the objective that we're trying to accomplish is to make ChatGPT to generate us content script for our YouTube videos about fictional history, right? That's the goal here. That's the reason why we wrote this prompt and then uh, by using this from as the input, we're able to make ChatGPT to generate us this whole content script, right? So obviously the end goal here is to generate us um, content script for our fictional history YouTube videos. All right, so let's move on to the third one here, uh, technologies behind prompt engineering. So let me do the slides here. So as you guys can see here, there are three um, technologies that I listed here. Obviously, there are more than these three. However, these three are like the most um, important one. So let's begin with the first one here. NLP, or it stands for Natural Language Processing. So NLP encompasses a range of techniques and algorithms that enable computers to understand, interpret, and generate human language. So NLP technologies, uh, for example, like text classifications, name entity recognitions, and sentiment analysis 
are employed to analyze and process from ensuring they provide clear instructions and constraints to the language model. All right, so um, NLP is also like the tool that was mainly used to translate the human language to a uh, computer language. So that's the reason why NLP plays very uh, crucial role here. So let's move on to the next one here, RL, or it stands for reinforcement learning. So reinforcement learning is basically a machine learning approach where an agent learns to make decision by interacting with an environment and receiving feedback or rewards. So in a prompt engineering, RL can be used to find the language model based on feedback from human evaluators or users. By applying RL algorithms, prompt engineers can iteratively optimize the model output by reinforcing desired behavior and adjusting prompt formulations. As you guys know, um, ChatGPT allows users to provide uh, follow-up corrections. So every single time um, ChatGPT generated output that is out of the context, we as the users are able to make uh, follow-up corrections um, to fix the directions of the conversations generated by ChatGPT, right? And every single time um, there is a corrections being made, that's when reinforcement learning algorithms involve. Right, so yeah, um, that's the second technology, and the third one here is called transfer learning. So, transfer learning involves training a model on one task, then leveraging that knowledge to perform well on different related tasks. Language models like ChatGPT are pre trained on large data sets, acquiring a general understanding of language patterns and context. And in this case, um, prompt engineering utilizes transfer learning by fine tuning these uh, pre trained models on specific tasks or domains. This enables prompt engineers to leverage the existing language capabilities of the models and customize them for specific prompt based interactions. So, yeah, um, as you guys know, as you guys can imagine, how large is the pre trained data set? It's extremely large, right? And it is very crucial for ChatGPT to have the capability of transferring knowledge from one task to another uh, relevant task. And that's when transfer learning uh, comes into play. So you guys, um, I think that's it. That's all you need to know. I'll see you guys in the next video where I'm going to explain how prompt engineering works. So I'll see you guys there.